G'day, g'day, you bunch of chili and chomping champions. Here today we're swell. We're trying out some new hot sauces. Hell yeah. G'day, Curry. Thanks for joining us today. So we're here with old mate Marty. He's a, he's a brand new uh, dump truck driver out here in the uh, undisclosed gold mine that we're at, the gold, gold mining site. And uh, yeah, he's going to join us for some for some some review. We're going back to the OBG days of hot sauce reviewing. So um, Luke, Luke is a chef. Marty has been in the kitchen, so he's got a really good palate for for chili and sauces. And I'm sure he'll do a good job on analysing what do we got going on in these four bottles. So he hasn't even seen the ingredients list yet. So we're going to see if he can try and pick what's what's going on in there. But just before we crack into the first one, I just want to show you guys what we got right here. Swell's finally got himself his hands on the one chip challenge from Packy, all the way from the US of A. This will be coming up soon. If I don't take too long to edit this video and get it up, but we're hoping to do a live stream of this with three of my, my brothers, my chili brothers. And uh, keep your eye on the socials and we'll, we'll get this um, happening soon. So hopefully you guys can check out the live stream. Anyway, say that for Ron. Ron loves his one chip challenges. Oh, I'm very much that. Sweet. All right, so according to the producer of these sauces, Bluey Zarzov, we've got shout outs to Paul Storm and his Mrs. Barbs, who made these awesome sauces for us. I'm only assuming they're awesome because I haven't even tried them yet at all. You just peeled off the plastic and yet to try them. So here's a bit of info on their company. So Bluey Zarzov's hot sauce. Where it's all about flavour, not just the heat. Produced locally in Perth, Western Australia, from the best locally grown chilies in the state. So there you go. Uh, they've got a Facebook page and a website, the bluiesarsoffs.com.au, if you want to check it out. But go on your social, Instagram, and Facebook to be ordering information. You can see we've got a couple of uh, couple of choice chilies in the front here. If you want to stick around and end this review, this mad donkey is going to be chomping on these babies. This is a Wookla Cross with Bubble Gum 7 Pond. So let's see how that goes. Alright Marty, what's, a, what's the first cab off the rank? And that one, so I believe uh, we've got our Wild to Wild. So we're going to start with this end and get stuck in it, will eh? Hell yeah. <laughs> so give it the old uh, shaky root because these have not been shaken up at all. So according to Paul, he recommended this um, <clears throat> this heat heat range, this this level. Uh, each one does have a heat rating on the back, and this one comes in at what have we got? Six, seven, seven out of ten. And this is the strawberry strawberry reaper ten. Oh, he's in there. Yeah. 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 Catch up on that. Let's see if Marty can pick the ingredients. Well, the strawberry pronounced, it's got like a kind of jammy. The consistency is, yeah, eat it now. It's, 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 it's really, really, really good. Honestly, it's really good on strawberry. It doesn't come on too hot at all. Oh, a little know. bit of vinegar there but way more pronounced than strawberry, the sweetness, and sort of the chili and the vinegar is kind of like an afterthought. Really good sauce. That's, yeah. that's like a day-to-day -day on anything you want for other sauces. Yeah, you don't, you don't love vinegar in sauces, so this is pretty, pretty good for your palate. It's a good sauce. Yeah, I, on most things, like on the curry. Yeah, fantastic. Strawberry Reaper Temptation. Awesome uh, work there. Like background. And you've got a, a strawberry with the, with the death death hood. And, and the, is it the sick or the sickle? Scythe or sickle. Yeah, yeah he's got, he's got uh, the skeleton hands going on. And he's got a. Um, <laughs> Don't mind the delivery mate, it's just rolling up some more cans of beer <laughs> for us on the side here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's definitely strawberries up front, 80%. And then you've got the, the Carolina Reaper chilies, 
Vinegar, sugar, pepper, and salt. Yeah, vinegar. Oh, see, it does. It reminds me more of like a, a chili sugar jam. Yeah. It's a really good consistency. You could you could probably put that on toast or oh, crumpet. To if you're a chili fan and a jam fan, strawberry toast in the morning, like mm. that'd be a good, good way to go with it. How about ice cream? I don't know if it's quite that uh, sort of sweetness to chili ratio, in it, but it's more like you could treat it as sweet or a savoury, depending on I guess your palate. Yeah, but for me, I'd, I'd use more on savouries than I would on sweets. Yeah, really nice sauce okay. though. I reckon sweet heat is the best sort of chili heat you can get. Quite a, quite a sweet tooth. All right, on to the next one. What have we got in the in the second place? Well, I'm looking at the greens again. All, all well, the way, I guess. So. Shake, mate. Oh. We, we had a good shake. Good to show the viewers we're shaking these babies yeah. up. I'm going to see the label all the ingredients, so I'm just going to get stuck in it and see what I can pick from it. Yeah, you can read the front label, that's all good. What have we got here then? Who's ours? I was ring stinger. This is the ring stinger sauce. Do you want to bang some on Mike? Oh, it's a bit thicker this one. It's thicker. <laughs> Looks like, um, it's like mango, or sort of like a dark curry, sort of. No, it doesn't smell like that, that's for sure. No. Ring stinger. Got heaps of like black seeds and stuff going on in there. You can see that it's quite sticky. Yes! Cheers, crew. It's so, um it's really I tell you the consistency in the sauces are really good. Yeah, it's hardly even cheap. Like a lot of the time they come off kind of really watery. Or um or too kind thick. Of, not not too thick, but like uh, not smooth. You know, you the yeah. Lots of bumps from it. It's not a nice texture. It's really nice texture. Um, a little mustardy. Not just straight up chili. Like a lot of mustard flavour through it. Not all good to get the last one. No <clears throat> here is sweet. No, it definitely doesn't have that sweetness. More savoury style. And yeah, much, much hotter. Not a mild sauce at all. That one's starting to kick the heat up quite a fair bit. Sweet. All right, so this is a habanero and chili sauce. So it's 50% hat, and you've got a capsicum, apple cider vinegar, onion, and lime juice. Did you get any of that, that acidic lime? Uh, it's pretty mild on the lime juice, but the habanero makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Mm. Sugar, water, olive oil, pepper, garlic, and salt. Yeah, that like olive oil is making that sort of hot box. Mouthfeel at the end. Getting a, getting a good throat burn going on that from the haps. Uh, well, hey. yeah, that's 50% haps. That's a, that's a decent oh, haps. Hap near is a pretty hot chili. There's 350,000 square feet in this. And that's what makes it get that like, really nice <laughs> texture. With the, uh, the old oil blended with that big and the amount of chili that's in there. It doesn't make that a, yeah, yeah, poor on sauce at all. It's really good viscosity too. You can have yeah. Drink. That's right, viscosity. Oh, yeah. It's got a little bit of, it's got a weight on it. It carries. Yeah, even though that's got the reefer in it, it's, uh, it's a lower amount. So it's, um, it's not as potent. So that was a good call by Paul. I have to say that I was a mild one. Uh, get a bit of shallow plenty. Cheers, mate. Thanks, Kevin. <laughs> All right. What's the Yeah, we've got a few of the boys are playing in the pool over here. Just a few drinks and get up, so um, that's me. Hi, Mark. He'll be he'll be staking himself on YouTube later. All right. What's the third place, mate? Wow. I don't know. Get a little label here. We got the Angry Viper. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I expect to this one to be a little more white than having here. Yep, yep, the viper probably oh, comes right. from the chili, the Naga viper, which is uh, conveniently. Oh, oh. No, I thought it was on my shirt. I've got the Naga Murray. So, at one point, the Naga viper was one of the hottest in the world. 
Um, hotter than it goes. About yeah, 1 million, 1.2 million scales. So we got more of that uh, chili kick to the smell. Yeah. You just watch it come out of here, it's a much thicker sauce. Is your, is your throat still quite warm? No, my throat's good, it's warm now. Uh, tip of my tongue, top of my house. But this is. Uh, as I'd say, no, it's, it's a thick boy. He's a thick boy, this one. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, it's a little bit of Barely coming out of the spoon. It's sticking to that. You're talking more of a pasty than the sauce, so I'm expecting the texture to be completely different to the one we just had. Just hold on before you nail it. It smells like barbecue. No, it's a little more of those barbecue flavours to it. Uh, you know, the sort of fennel, coriander, cumin kind of thing. Eight, Three eight out of ten for the heat. Alright, you go for it, mate, so you can describe those flavours. There you go. I think that's pretty good. Oh, there we go. Not Straight up the bat. It's gonna be tomato. But, you know, it's almost, uh, it's a it's a spiced tomato paste straight out of the back. Yeah. Like, I, I, this wouldn't be for me like an eating sauce or something. This would be like, pizza what I use Yeah, pizza base, yeah, yeah. putting on my meat before I cook it, before I smoke it. You know, as opposed to like, uh, this one here is very much like a super textured eating sauce. That's like my base for what I'm doing food with. <laughs> Way milder um, on the same sort of heat level as, as the strawberry one we ate at the start, but really, really good flavours. Yeah, super good flavours. Big tomato punch at the start, that vinegar carrying through. Um, yeah, and, and knocking out those uh, sort of traditional, I guess, American barbecue spices following through. Delicious sauce. Not, um, not much vinegar, it's very mild. Yeah, it's just that sort of slight sour note coming through. This uh, this ingredient says it's quite long. It's got a lot going on here. So cayenne chili is the first one up. That's fifty percent. So for that being milder chili than the habanero, you think that'd be in second place. And at the moment, it's not burning as much compared. To I would last. definitely, I would definitely want to try these two. Yeah, but then you've got the mm. omega fiber, which is a super hot. <laughs> The proportion must be quite low. And then, of course, you've got your tomato, and the side vinegar, onion, sugar, water, olive yes. oil, and pepper, salt, similar to the last one, similar ingredients there. And then you've got cinnamon, clove, stuff, and fennel. So you've got quite a few more spices, it's almost like an Italian sauce, uh, tomato. Yeah, yeah sauce. Oh, and that's what's sort of picking up, uh, you know, because a lot of yeah. Traditional sort of uh, barbecue spice or other ones. They will use those things in the little ports and the celery in itself for a bit fancy. Yeah. But it's very spicy. Sorry, not Texas, but a lot of South American ones. Yeah, down south. Much yeah. 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 And yeah. I, I would, I would say that is one of them in terms of heat. Yeah, so let's swap this around now, Bruce, for you guys, for, your, for the heat rating yeah. styles. Um, Royals and I used to give heat, heat scales out of 10 for flavour and heat. So we'll just, we'll just go with the order of what we think is hot to, to mild to, to hot at the moment. We'll try and try and last one. But yeah, I'm looking forward to making a pizza with that one. I reckon that's going to be good. That, that would be fantastic. On the base, it'd be really, really good. Yeah, it's yeah. Oh. All right, the lucky last, the top of the list. Oh. Bowler. Mint jelly. <laughs> bow burner. Now you see a sauce called mm -hmm. bow burner. You think ring sting is bad, but bow burner. Yeah, no, that straight away gives me that uh, that, that chilli smell that you, you're expecting from it. Hot sauce, a nice super hot, like a sweet. A, a lot of uh, fresh super hot pe peppers smell to me like passion fruit. It comes on really. This has a lot of like three cups behind it. Oh, it's like a yeah. and, and that tomato. Hey, hey. All right, here we go, guys. It, it, it is another it thick boy. Yes! Yeah, there's 
stuff for three three minutes. No one needed to model on the last one. Much more chili base. Yeah. Much higher percent of chili than the last one I did. Any, any other ingredients you're picking up? How could you taste any ingredients? It just burns. No, it's, no, not, it's, it's not, not too bad. bad. It's, uh, it's really like base notes being on the paprika, the chili, a little bit of vinegar, and really not picking on like, too much else on the, on the back yeah. of that one. Fuck me, it's hot. It's an onion. But seven, again, nowhere near as hot as a habanero. That habanero is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a lot. I have this still, it's still raining supreme. So you give that a seven out of ten. There's your label. It's, uh, it's got like a chocolate, oh, just a, just a chocolate yeah. pepper, sweating his his eyes out. Oh, no, he looks a bit, he looks a bit worried. So what we got going on here? The number one chili is the mm. chocolate googler chili, which is a quite hot pot. And yeah, that's so that's what it's got. On the label, that'd be a googler. <clears throat> Have you ever heard of those those peppers, mate? No, I haven't. Yeah, you can use this one. Yeah, they can be like, brutal. And then coming up second, you're onto it, mate. It's paprika. You know your flavours, that's for sure. Then you got capsicum apple cider vinegar, onion, tomatoes down the list, sugar, water, olive oil, and pepper, garlic, salt, and clove. So similar to last one. Got clothes in it. All right, how you feeling, mate? Is it good? Like, no, no, all the sauce is pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna confuse myself before we wrap this up. <clears throat> Next one, no, nah, it's not where I'm building. building. No, it's a building. <laughs> yeah, it's building up. Oh, 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 there you go. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that is the fucking hot one. Yeah. That shit's building. That is. But I still think, like, for immediate heat, I mean, probably that's in the, in the, in the review, but... <laughs> Looks like it's hot. It's, yeah. By yeah, for sure. Mm. Eight out of ten? No way. No, fuck it. Oh, get it! That was... Yeah, I just said, like, a delicious, like, sweet <clears throat> base. Yeah, yeah why? I <clears throat> think it's, like, that is, that is a... <laughs> right over. Damn. Um, so we're back. Mum just had to step out for a second to um, use the gentleman's room. So the, the, the heat did build up from this, and it was a creeper, but it did finally get there. And I was like, "Whoa, that doula, that's hot, isn't it, mate?" It ended up being there. Uh, pretty spicy in the end. It was um, a really good sauce. Up there with that habanero. That habanero hot sauce though was really, really good. I mean, uh, but a lot faster. <laughs> A lot faster, a lot faster heat, a lot faster the end. Yeah. Uh, but I think of the, of the four sources we tried today of uh, Blue Zazos, I think, um, yeah, the, this habanero sauce here was, was probably my pick of the bunch. It's, it's the one that I would go out and buy for, for day to day use. Hot sauce is my food, that, that's where I would go. Well, that, that being <coughs> your, your fave, what score would you give your flavour at 10? The flavor out of 10, I, I'd give it a good 7 or 8. Oh, I thought it was a delicious sauce. Really, really tasty on a lot of things. Uh, I mean, if we just go through it quickly, you, you got your sweet heat here, which I'm not a big fan of. Yeah. So, me personally, I don't have a lot for me to do with the sauce. Delicious, not a lot of heat. Got that good jammy characteristic. Um, but yeah, oh, I don't have a, much of a use for it myself, but delicious. Yeah, it does like that sweet heat. Yeah, um, this one here with the marinade chili. Charles. Really good, like if you, that, that bakes the marinades, pizza base, um, you know, if, if you're making yourself a stew, casserole, things like that. It's a fantastic sauce for that. But you go to day just to pull on, you know, if you're making a quick taco. Uh, anything like that, throw that on there, you get your heat, you get your yeah. flavour, you're all good. So on the end here, you know, if you make like a beef strong or a goulash, something like that, where you want a bit of heat, but you want that paprika flavour characteristic behind it, to shine yeah. in for that. But yeah, I think um, for me, these two here would be something I'd definitely pick up. Um, yeah, something I'd keep in my pantry. Hell yeah. And you guys may notice we whipped off the stopper, the uh, restrictor. 
of each bottle, so he's got that on there for smaller portion sizes, but we want to get quite a bit on the spoon, so we just put them off, as most us chili heads do, to smash it on there. Uh, yeah, yeah, so judging by heat, we think this is probably the appropriate <coughs> from mild to wild. Love that sweetness. I'm going to bang that on some ice cream as soon as I can. Um, the hab sauce is really nice, really stands out. Some ice cream now. The, the super hot of the Dougla, it's, it's a creeper, so it takes a while and it stays it stays there for quite a bit. That, that'd be nice on some Mexican food, I reckon. Can we get some, <laughs> get some con carne? Maybe get some burritos, smash that on. And yeah, I reckon pizza base, definitely. Carne um, <laughs> For the whole range, a good, good eight, eight point five out of ten. Shout out to Ros, perfect score. Really good producer. Uh, make sure you do check him out. Uh, Blue Zarzovs, so he's up in Yanchip. But make sure you check him out on Facebook and Instagram, and he's got that website. And all of these are made from at least eighty percent Australian ingredients, so. Definitely support your local sauce producers, your local chili producers. And uh, yeah, so, so what I'm going to offer you, mate, is um, take your pick of any of my four you want to take home and smash it on whatever you like. I would go, um, yeah, well, thank you for that as well. I'm going to take a ring here. Sure, I think. Uh, oh, hold on, someone's just blocking the camera with some bloody corn chips <laughs> going on there. Yeah, no, that. That bit if you have a have an arrow hit. Yeah, I think that's uh that's gotta be for me. Awesome. That's my pick. And uh pretty much put on it in it. Enjoy it. Fucking smash it, smash it. Thanks well. Can. Cheers to the invite. Thank it's you. Been a pleasure. Right. And, uh, are you gonna hit one of these? Well, I was I was a bit doubtful about chomping one of these um Butla <coughs> gum sevens because Get it in ya. That was firing up the back. Well, exactly. Yes. Get it in ya. Man on mouse! Man or mouse. Peer pressure, peer pressure, peer pressure. Man or mouse. Man or mouse. So here we go, we've got, we got our standard five minute timer. Um, shout outs, Lee Nash from Dingo Sauce Co. From his chili farm grower up in Carnarvon, more veggies. Some of the best chilies produced in Western Australia. Oh, as yes. well as the ones that go into these bottles. <coughs> I'm not too sure where Paul gets his chilies from, but I'm sure Being it's an awesome, time, huh? awesome producer. The one. Check out the size of it. This is a huge pod. This this makes the Reaper that I had last time look, look pretty small. And I've been told they're bloody evil. So Are you doing a challenge or an ad? Before I lose my ability to talk, please subscribe to the channel. Give the video a like. Share it out there if you don't mind, but that subscribe is the most important part. Um, if, if Luke wants to bugger off, that's all good. Thanks again for joining me, mate. Shut up, mate, Nancy. Time, time for Nancy to chomp a chili. Thanks a lot, you lunch chili chomp champion. In the chomp? Yeah, once a slime. Oh, no, that's about that. I'm going to bring it up for that. <laughs> oh, oh, everybody. <laughs> mate. <clears throat> Quite floral. This is just poop. <clears throat> it's hot. It's warm. You better try to do it. You never press that. Fuck, nobody goes for the cord. Alright. <laughs> This is this is for like an hour and hour. Yeah, quite floral. It's better, is it? Not not bitter. Some of your child plays our video presenters. I would do that on purpose. Eh? Pretty pretty sure I've never <coughs> even eaten a butler before. Just another chili, isn't it? Why would I happily eat chili? It's starting to fire up on the tongue. <coughs> It was 
It's good, nice, nice firm, like firm skin. Oh, the capsicum's like a good chili. I think my, my eyes are starting to well up. <laughs> well, we put that back on, man. You hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, we've got the sun get the tears. Glasses off. Business then time. Right hands and it's like the right hands and stuff. Put it all back on you. Your head's fucked. <laughs> feel them, feel them pretty fucked, eh? It's feeling Why very you do that? red and fucked. <clears throat> red and fucked. Isn't that like a day to day thing? <laughs> That's why he's a good drill. <laughs> he's head fucked. So I'm warm. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? <laughs> He's not wrong though, is he? He's not right. He's not right. He's not right. Wow. Tongue, mainly tongue. We have a good job and we have drillers a year. Mate, he's drilling a lot. Tongue and now stomach. Comes with tears. Don't, don't worry, I'm, I'm trucking with you, it's still works much. Excuse my honesty. I realise that you are. I can't pull through the car. I'm going to do the shift and get paid. Yeah, it's a good chilli, mate. <laughs> Drool is cranking. It doesn't... <laughs> still mainly tongue. Still mainly tongue, I've got some. <laughs> <laughs> Not the best idea. You're a little Hit the throat now. <coughs> so, <coughs> oh, good day, mate. Good day. What's your name? I'm Quarters. Quarter what? Well, what's the <laughs> <laughs> what's the appeal of eating something that obviously fucking hurts? I feel great. <coughs> <laughs> I felt great when my dad was <laughs> The endorphins are cranking now. <clears throat> Woo! You don't look real good though. Yeah, but <laughs> it looks can be deceptive, eh? This is always like honest comments when Rob presents later on. It's like, as it's going to You don't look real good though. <laughs> Like, okay. <laughs> One minute to go. <clears throat> you have to what? Feel good. Four seconds. Catch wire. Getting rid of the beer to get a little harder. What happens? Starting to get very chill. Fuck, I can smell it from here. So, what is it versus the Reaper? You reckon it's on par? You want a heat rating? Is it, is it like a Reaper? Does it match what they're claiming? Yeah, it's. <laughs> Bloody close to Reaper, eh? I reckon 8 out of 10 for heat. Hey, Chili, be a man the other one. Hell no. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, it's it's actually throwing it. Smell that up. Chop a second. If I smell it, will you eat it? No. There's the one in the If I smell it. 20, mate. <laughs> what a bargain. <laughs> Good, it's good <clears throat> pod. Shout outs to Holly. Five to go, chili. Five to go. Up in Carnarvon. You grow some bloody good chilies, man. Yeah. You're good, Swell. That's He's done. That's five minutes. Work smell. Oh, hell yeah. Another challenge pass. If it's that good, I challenge you to do it. Oh. <laughs> five more. Five more. Yep. What was you that? I feel very quite nauseous as well. Another challenge not done. You looking to? No, it's hard. <coughs> oh, it's finished. <clears throat> you passed that one, but I challenged you to another one. Cheers, crew. Cheers. Time for bread. Oh, well. 
jolly well. Good job. Thanks, guys. Thanks for your support. He's going to pussy out on the second one, isn't he? I would pussy out on the one, too. I think it's fair to see, because we won't eat the first one. I'm so just letting it roll. Just the second one. He's out to... What a fucking deal. But, uh, <laughs> thanks, everyone, for, for checking but out the video. Your hands have touched that. Do not touch before you wash your hands. You will, you will be in as much pain as Julius right now. Do you want to chop one, mate? No, fuck no, look at that. Smart guy. <laughs> Alright, time to end the video. Thanks once again, everyone, for checking it out. Thanks, Marty, for setting up all these awesome sauces. And Paul for sending them to me. Check them out. <laughs> Thanks Lee and Ash for getting this awesome chili for us. Crew up more veg veggies for going on. <laughs> Woo! <clears throat> chili, how are you hands? Are you shaking too hard? Please tell me you got me on camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not, not as bad as it's been. Yeah, not too bad tonight, eh? <laughs> you just don't even screw it. It's getting worse. <laughs> Alright. Keep checking out the channel crew. Subscribe, please. I'm off. Do you know what in the bushes? Thanks, guys. We're actually. Eat another one, you girl. Three, two, one. Action! Go. Wait. G'day, g'day, you Chili Chopper Champions. We're in the north with uh, some of Bluey Zazov sauces. Chili, I'm going to tell us a bit about them. English, motherfucker. Do you speak it? <laughs> We're gonna have to start again. I couldn't help myself. I'm gonna keep recording. To start again, we're gonna have to.